David's heated up a needle because my ear has got a bit infected. <laughs> just trying to save our house from hitting someone else's house. <laughs> I, this is like an episode of whatever the show Stephen Owen did, you know? Uh, turtles. There's um, a turtle being released down the slipway. He's not have it. It'll be very hard to see it through the GoPro. But if you Zoom in. <laughs> There's two people looking at it. It's not moving. Now they're Three picking it up. Let's go, let's go. I want to see it in the water. This is mad. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. I look sweaty. I am sweaty. Um, so. We've been to the shop, we've done a grocery shop, and now David's heating up a needle because um, my ear has got a bit infected. Like, it's a big. Show him. Show him yeah. Like, in my earlobe. Yummy, look at that. There's like, inside my earlobe, it's like there's like a hard ball of yuck. So Spiders. We're, <laughs> we're gonna pierce it and let it all out because it's like real tight and oh, horrible. It's actually disgusting. <laughs> I hate this, I'm staying outside. We basically just need to drain it because off. it's really annoying. Um, I think it's, it. it's because my earring my earring has like a little gap in it, it's not a full hoop. And that little gap goes inside my earlobe sometimes and then makes like a little cut. And then that little cut, I think it's got infected. I think. And now we get to drain it. Now we're going to drain it and see what comes out. Ben's going to be gross. I hope out. it's money. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's beer. Imagine just beer come out. Beer or money? On tap. Like just a glass of wine. I hope my ear doesn't fall off. <laughs> I mean, anti back wine's probably more sterile than just putting it near a bit of fire. Yeah. I mean, the way you're holding it and looking at it. <laughs> drying my hands on a towel, that's not sterile. So now they're immediately not sterile again. Sterile doesn't fact. Well, so you should probably read tip. this book yeah. that's where there's no doctors. All right, let's do it. If you when you when you puncture it, actually if you, when you puncture it, just like I'll then just get this and just squeeze it with yeah, yeah, towel. Yeah. I'm gonna go for the big fattest bit of it. Oh yeah! Is it already done? Yeah, it's so much pus. <laughs> that is Turn on. satisfying. Yummy! Is it coming out? Yeah, yeah give it a nice squeeze. Cheers. <laughs> so now I've got two ear earpieces. Pieces, piercings. Yeah, we could have just pierced, we could have put another thing in. Oh, yeah. Is it coming out nice and gunky? Nice. <laughs> this is what they want to see. <laughs> um, yeah. If you're a doctor, let us know what we did wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the aftermath. We got a lot of it out, still looks a bit gross. There's still definitely a bit of pus left in there, but, like, we got out so much. And it's not, <laughs> lot, lot, uh, that's horrible, sorry. It's now like not really, like before it was really tight and really stressed because there was so much inside. Now it's like just flabby skin where it needs to now stop being stretched. It's real lovely content here on yeah, the Yeah, I won't always turn into a medical channel. Well, I'm we'll, sweat we'll show you, we'll try, we'll try and to show you, you know, everything else involved. Sometimes you gotta do your own ear. Sometimes you gotta stab your ear. Yo! Um, I have no idea what we last filmed on this GoPro. Um, we've just been chilling out hard. Yesterday we went on a big, long hike around one of the mountains. Um, we took loads of photos, but no videos, so I'll put some photos up um, whilst I talk now. Um, yeah, we've just been chilling out, doing jobs on the boat. Today we're going to go into town and have a swim and a beer. We've met a friend called Scott, and he's going to come with us. Um, we're just waiting for him now at the bar. Hello, I'm a new boat boy. Stringer's got a new haircut, looking fresh. Um, yeah, we're very, very much enjoying it in uh, Porto Santo. Very chill, um, very slow way of life, it's great. We're definitely going to do more exploring the mountains and next time we do we'll film it, promise. Um, yeah, we bought a kayak, that happened. We'll show you the kayak. We'll talk about that properly when we actually go film it. Whoa! <laughs> We're on the main beach um, of the, the only town on uh, Porto Santo. The beach is all the way to our boat. Like, oh yeah, it's that way, that way, that way. And then it's also all the way down there as well. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go for a swim, blooming off. 
Yes, that's exactly what we're gonna do. David's already in, we've lost him. We're back at the marina. We, uh, we had a little swim. Here's the kayak that we mentioned earlier. We bought a kayak because this is our only way of getting off and on the boat. So if anyone wants to go off and do their own thing, they can't. So we bought a kayak, so we have our own, yeah, just basically one person can go off by themselves. Um, it also means that you can just do your own thing. Look at them doing their own thing. So this is, what, this is what it looks like with three of them in. I'm, I'm now going to... I can feel my bum <laughs> lower than the rest of it. I'm now going to tow them on the boat. Uh, the best part about this kayak is it comes with a wolf with an outboard. <laughs> no one lean. No one lean. And we're off. I'm nervous. <laughs> this is a very comfy seat. And we're off. <laughs> I can feel it vibrating on my bottom. <laughs> Whoa! Like wakeboarding, we're going over. It's quite hard to see where I'm going. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. perfect. And here's the fleet. Back safely. Look, looking good, looking real official. So many modes of transport, all of them the same. <laughs> we probably just have them all behind rather than bang on the side of the boat all the time. I think they quite like it. I like it, I love it. So, are with our friend Scott and Liam at their uh, tried to spearfish and teach you Um, we didn't catch anything on the spearfishing saga. Um, it's now another day. We now own a little barbecue. And as you know, we've run out of gas for our hobs and we can't get the right size bottle on the island because it's the island is small. Um, so we're now just going to be cooking with a barbecue for a few days. This is, yes, this is now our cooking setup. We've, <laughs> we're reverted back, it's great. So we're just having barbecues um, for a while. Which, yeah. The this funniest is, thing is, on tonight's barbecue, we're going to have a full English breakfast for dinner. <laughs> we um, went, just went and watched the uh, Wales-Argentina in the rugby, uh, Argentina 1. That was a good, good, oh, good no. turnout. It wasn't a brilliant game of rugby. No, it wasn't. Rugby. It wasn't a very good game of rugby, but it was fun nonetheless. And then later we've got Ireland, um, Ireland New Zealand, which is going to be a cracking game, which we're looking forward to. So yeah, they're, they're the updates. Big weekend of sport. We still haven't decided what, what, where, when, why we're sailing. We're just chilling out. We went out to a party last night. There wasn't very many people at the party, so we just ended up speaking to other people outside for five hours. <laughs> anyway, we'll let you know how dinner goes. Exciting things are happening. <laughs> We've moved into the future. We're still trying to figure out a lid. Still <laughs> fucking doing this. Ding. <laughs> Golden Ramsey. Work in a tree. Got some sausage to go in it. Uh, when we said we were having a full English on a barbecue, we weren't joking. We've got the mushrooms are done. Garlicky, yummy mushrooms. Got some sausages on the go. Some, the sausages some, are some gonna beans, take. scrambled eggs coming. We've really maxed out the um, barbecue. <laughs> I think it's great. All in time for sunset. Won't be in time for the rugby. Well, maybe. God, these legs are trying, aren't they? Off we go, serving up dinner again. Mm. Yummer. <laughs> <laughs> 
Spoons. If that's not a Wetherspoons breakfast, mate, I don't know what it is. The English have arrived. Well, we're just packing up the boat. There's all our messy washing and everything. We can do that later or tomorrow or the day after. Um, we're gonna go watch the rugby now. Fire's been put out, dunked in the sea. Oh, okay. We're off on a swimming venture. Will's already been, but we're, we're going, going to go there diving again. where we tried to spear gun yesterday. Um, but this time, no spear gun, just diving. Hopefully you see some cool fish. Okay, we've brought the rib out outside the um, harbour wall and we're just diving off of um yeah we're diving off the blocks here and in between all like the um sea defense blocks there's loads of cool colorful fish which is great fun and then swim back over it's a lot hard to swim with one hand So there is a spear gun. Let's see if we can catch some digger. So this is the setup. We've got our rib with uh, our kedge anchor and then Scott and Liam brought their ribbon tied on and they're all diving out there. We haven't caught anything with the spear gun but we um, we have seen a lot of oh, seen a lot of cool fish. Lots of crabs. We saw um, a barracuda we think um, which was pretty cool, pretty big but I need to look it up and actually see if it was. Good evening. But yeah, very cool. Um, <laughs> we're having commiseration Jaffa cakes. We've got a lot to tell you. Yeah, a lot just happened. So, from my perspective, high wind, yeah? Anchor was set, no, no, we're having a lovely time. The boys went to the shop, I, I chopped up all these nice vegetables ready for dinner. Uh, David and William turn up. We're like, well, maybe we should take in some chain, was mm. it? Maybe we should take in two meters just because we were getting really close to <laughs> the, the concrete block. Um, took in two meters. Then I hear shouting from inside. I'm like, what's going on? Turn on the engine. Okay, I will, I'll do as I'm told. Look outside and there are some rocks getting closer and closer. So we've moved, we tried to anchor about a million times. We've ended up here. What's been happening is, what's been happening is our anchor, for some reason, um, we can't set our anchor quick enough because the wind's so strong you get ripped back so we can't get the chain out quick enough to set the anchor so we've just spent like an hour trying to anchor and it's such a tight anchorage everyone's watching it's not fun no one's saying anything helpful apart from these guys apart from this lovely couple who we will go and meet and say thank you and buy them all the beer in the world because they just kept shouting you can do it <laughs> just fucking send it like chill out you're fine they've said that We've anchored here, this isn't where we want to end up. But they said like, just take a breather. You're safe, we're happy with you being this close. Let's just, whew, chill. Yeah. Right out Yeah, try and move where we are, but like 10 more meters forward, just so we're not as close to them. We've put our bigger anchor on. So we've now got a 45 pounder anchor rather than a 35. And yeah, it, that was, a wild hour. It was been crazy. We're sorry we didn't film it, but I'm not do you know what? Yeah. That wasn't the time to do any of that. It, it did not cross my mind one, <laughs> one second to have the GoPro. Right? It was literally just trying to save our house from hitting someone else's house. <laughs> or a rock. Or a rock. We think, well, we know according to the forecast, the wind's going to shift around a little bit um, overnight. So rather than pointing, it's going to be pointing. Um, so we're just going to stick ourselves a little bit closer to the wall and a little bit further from everyone else. <laughs> that was chaos. The team pulled through. We nailed it. 
So yeah, we're eating they're Jaffa cakes Jaffa to celebrate. Cakes. They're very good Jaffa cakes. What on earth are these? They're milk or Jaffa. Milk or Jaffa cakes. So they're like too sweet. Mm, yeah. They're so sweet. I, I really wanted a bar up. of chocolate, but I was like, that's going to melt by the time I get there. <laughs> I need a bar of chocolate. It would have definitely now. melted after an hour of Brianza. Yeah. We're all just going to carry on chilling out for a second, have a breather, maybe another cigarette. Can't say that on YouTube. Don't smoke, kids. But I need to right now. How are you going to smoke a kid? Don't smoke, kids. <laughs> and we'll leave it at that. Huh? We have shifted about a boat length and a half forward. Second attempt. Um, the New Zealand couple are very handy. They're stood on their bow just letting us know the direction of their anchor chain so that we don't accidentally pick it up in the night. If we do, we'll swing round with the wind. I think that's the main worry for us now is we don't think we're going to get near the wall. We think it's just as we swing, they've got 30 metres of chain out, we anchored maybe 10 metres in front of them, but we've got 20 out, so it's the worry of, as we drift around in the night, picking up their anchor and letting them disappear off into the distance. It's all new, we're all, we're learning. We've learned a fuck ton today. Yeah, we've learned a lot today. Okay. We've learned a lot today. <laughs> Big learning day for the boat boys. I don't know nothing. <laughs> My head has lost all information. <laughs> That was the sound of David going to the sea, I just got a little bit wet. Uh, yeah, I think if we were anchored next to anyone else, these guys have been super, super helpful. Yeah, we they could have easily just told us to fuck off. They, yeah, like, I think we've been in situations before where you, you anchor next to someone and they just make a big song and dance about it rather than saying anything useful. But they've been very supportive and very like, here's your options, if I were you, I'd go here, you know, you're all good. Chat to them in the room. Yeah. See if they're actually cool. Do you want to take some beers? I'll say we'll buy him on the water, so. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> it's like having mum and dad with us, you know? Yeah. <laughs> They'd be very supportive. It's a bit windy, but I'm just going to try and explain. Uh, last night we survived the night. No dragging. Lovely. Thank goodness. Um, this morning we went to the cafe. We were happy that the boat was staying where it was. All four of us went to the cafe, had a coffee, went to go tell stories of our wonderful time to all the people that we've met along the way. Um, and as we were leaving, David and I were gonna go back to the boat, grab our shower stuff and make ourselves feel pretty. As we were leaving, we bumped into a French couple that we've been chatting to a lot. Um, they said that they were leaving their mooring ball to go to the pontoon and we're just like, come grab it, man. Come grab it, it's yours. So, string a motor over on the rib, dropped us off, noted over on the rib, just sort of sat there, waiting for them to leave. And then we pulled up, grabbed it. Hopefully we're safe. The wind, for context, picks up again on Thursday. It's Tuesday today. Picks up again. It was 33 knot high gusts yesterday, last night. And it'll go up to 40 on Thursday night. So, yeah, we're just doing everything we can to prep for that. We had a good chat this morning about whether we're leaving to Madeira before or after, and we just think that the, the sea state is gonna be so horrible. It's only like a six hour sail, but it'll be yucky. So we're gonna stay here, and this is our preparation for some higher wind. I'm knackered because I did a bit of running, and I don't ever do that. Anyway, Whew. I'm breathing. National rescue back out so of I think last night we explained that David and Wilf went to go help a German couple who had punctured a, a tire with their anchor and couldn't get it off so they went over in the rib uh, <laughs> currently there are four people in tenders Wilf being one of them that are helping a boat that's just been launched with no motor drag it to somewhere to anchor or out the marina hopefully you can see it on the GoPro right here Absolute chaos. I'll swap to a to a smaller lens so that you guys can see, but Wilf is currently just ragging it around. There's another boat going out. This is fucking crazy. I'm trying to not be a dickhead with a GoPro. Yeah, they got some speed now.
Look at him go! International rescue! They very did nearly crash into asylum, this boat right here. Bloody hell. Chaos. Here comes Wolf. Just destroyed like three boats. <laughs> Did they hit a well, silent? We got under our stride. We were fucking. Yeah, you were flying. I got some of it on film. That was wild. They just got launched and their engine just cut out immediately and they couldn't get together. I did. Recommend the thing. Well, I think it worked. Yeah, no, I no, saw the motor out on their own. And they were just drifting it through the anchorage. The only boat that was real touch and go was. Um, which one was it? That one or Silent maybe? Silent, yeah. We were really close to Apart from that, then we just like booked it across. How many new swear words did you learn in how many different languages? Well, we they were talking four different languages to relay messages what was going on. <laughs> it was so good. It was like, and then they'd like turn to me and be like, we're gonna go this way, go push from here. <laughs> oh no, there's an English person here. My lord. They wouldn't have been able to do it with many less dinghies though, holy shit. It was great, proper international. Everyone rescue. was like maxed out with I was like, the engine on the wall. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's dinghy was like maxed out throttle. It was just like screaming. I was like, if our dinghy cuts out now, like I'm controlling the back of your boat. Yeah. <laughs> and then like turning them into the wall, it was just like I was on that side, and then they're like, right now go around to the other side. So I just like let go, just wham, wham, like whizzed around and just pushed the back, so the boat went. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, a little hero. Load to the rest. Load star's yeah. been an absolute yeah, hero absolute this weekend. Changed their plan like three times. So they're like, we want to go to the marina, and we're like, we're not getting you into the marina. Yeah. Oh, Should I go for a beer? Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm gonna edit or something. <laughs>